Today, I'm going to show you how to win a guitar building contest. Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. I've got a bunch of cool stuff to show you guys today from Steve at Maximum Guitar Works, from our friends at Tonewood Experts, and even a couple things that uh, Chris and I are making now and selling. And I'm going to let you guys in on a couple of secrets that will make winning the Great American Guitar Building Contest a little easier, or any other guitar building contest that you're entering. I guess there's a bunch of them out there, and um, you know what? More power to them. Let's build some guitars. Let's have a lot of fun. So, before I go any further though, links in the description below to every single thing I'm going to talk about today, or at least the websites for every single thing I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to show you some templates from Steve at Maximum Guitar Works, I'm going to show you some wood from Tonewood Experts, and I'm even going to show you something new that Chris and I are offering. So, let's jump right in. First, before we get any further, um, I know I've said let's, before we get any further a bunch, but before we go, let, let, the first thing we're going to talk about, let's do that. The first thing we're going to talk about is the Fit All series of templates from Steve over at Maximum Guitar Works. Now, if you've watched my channel and you watch Steve's channel, you probably have heard about the Fit All series. Let me give you a little background. Okay, I have been using templates like this from Steve at Maximum Guitar Works for a long, long time. And uh, many, many months ago, he and I went out and we were having lunch and I said, you know what would be cool, Steve? is if you made a template set that was universal and it was just the the most significant parts of the the guitar build so um, neck neck pocket bridge the most important things if you got the neck pocket and it lines up with the bridge happy meal for you and why don't we include some pickups too so um, so Steve came up with the, uh, he calls it the Fit All Universal Template Set, and it's great, you guys. And I, there's so much stuff we gotta talk about on this, I, I'm, I've gotta make sure in my tiny brain that we get it all. So, the important things are, it has a neck pocket. Well, let me get on this side. It has a neck, each one of the templates has a neck pocket, three positions for pickups, and a bridge. So here's one here that has a, let's see, this has a, a Strat heel, three Filtertron pickups, and a Strat trim. And then I got this one here with a Strat heel, three P90s, and a Jazzmaster trim. That's cool. And I got this one here that has a Telecaster heel, three humbucking pickup locations, and the Hipshot Stoptail Bridge. Okay, now somebody who's really good at math, please let me know how many combinations you could possibly make with three, these three templates. You got two heels, three bridges, and nine different pickup combinations. Um, but actually you have more than nine different pickup combinations because you could have one here, one here, and one here. So you have nine different pickup, or you have three different pickup locations and nine possible pickups that can go in there. Like I said, I can't wrap my brain around that. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to have for lunch. So trying to figure out how many permutations we can come up with with just these three template sets, um, it, 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 it stymies me. Okay, now, some people have got to be thinking, well, how can you use them all? Well, no, it's just one thing. And so you get, here's one, here's one, and here's one. I want to show you something. These are really cool. You can stack these templates. Let me show you. All right, so you guys got to dig this. You see these pins here? These are what Steve calls the off-body alignment pins. And the idea is that you actually put this template onto the body blank that you're going to use, and you can drill one or all four of these holes, and you can stick them together with these, with these quarter-inch pins. Now, a couple of things I want to show you what I'm talking about here. I haven't done it yet on, on the templates, but you'll notice this strat one, you, you drill some holes in the, in the body blank, okay, and you put the pins in the holes, and then the templates actually fit on the guitar with these off-body alignment pins. And these will get cut off later, or you can leave them on there and, and make them part of your design, whatever you want to do, it's your guitar. The important thing is you don't have to use any double stick tape and you can put them once you put them on once you can put them, you can take them off and put them on again and again and again 
and they'll be perfect every time. Or <clears throat> you can switch to a different template set. So in this case, here is the, here is the template for the strap neck. Okay. So you put the pins in there, you're out for the strap neck, and in this case you do the control cavity and part of the bridge as well. And then you take it off, and you want to do, you know, the outline. Or in this case it has the, the control cavity for rear route, something like that. So you guys get the idea. You can put whatever templates you want, and you can mix and match. All right, now, enough with that. Let's jump back to the, um, to the Fit All series. All right, so imagine this, you guys. You can pin, imagine if there was a board that had a hole in it, you could stack these templates and you could use this neck pocket and one of these or all of these pickups and this bridge or any combination that you wanted. So um, I think what we're going to do today is we're going to make something traditional and we're going to make something over the top and as ridiculous as we can make it because I want to show you guys just how versatile and cool these fit all templates are. Okay guys, if you're going to ask me, Matt, how is the best way to start, I would say get a great big piece of paper and a straight edge and draw a straight line on the paper. That will be your center line. Okay, if you have a plan, it's easier to work the plan, but sometimes I get it. You kind of just want to shoot from the hip. The first one we're going to do, we're going to plan all of it out. Okay, and I think what I would like to build is something with Filtertrons and a Strat Trim. And I think what I would like to do is build a Telecaster with Filtertrons and a Strat Trim. So I'm going to need... Let's mark where these holes are going to go, and you'll see why I'm, I'm, I want to have them marked here in a moment. I want to use this trim, okay, and let's use, let's just use all three of these filter trons for fun, okay? And then I want to mark the end of the, the, the neck heel, just the end. But because I want to do a Telecaster shape, I want to use a Telecaster neck. So I'm going to put the I'm going to line this guy back up on my center line here. Make sure I'm good to go all the way through. And remember, this is just the drawing, okay? Okay. So I have my neck pocket, three filter trons, and the strap trim. So the the outline of the body could look anything. It could look like that for all I care. But I want to make it look like a Telecaster. Couple of things. Um, Generally speaking, the end of the heel on the Telecaster does not line up with the end of the heel on the Strat um, the way that it does on these fit-all templates, okay? But, but So you will notice that the end of the heel is the same on the Tele as it is on the Strat, okay? Generally speaking, it's actually more like this. The, the strat is moved out a little bit. Um, so you can fit a strat neck in a tele pocket, but not necessarily the other way around. But, but Steve's uh, jig here, this is not a licensed fender thing, though all the fender stuff should drop right in. And I'm getting to that here in a little bit. I'm getting ahead of myself. <clears throat> okay. So I've got, I've got my neck pocket, my pickup locations, and everything like that all drawn on here. Now what I want to do is, because I have a Telecaster template, I'm going to lay it on here, lining up my neck pocket, lining up my center line. Okay, and I'm just kind of lining it up here. So I want my guitar outline to look a little like this. Okay. Um, the off-body alignment pins for Steve's Telecaster set does not exactly line up with Steve's uh, fit-all template set, but that's beside the point um, because we're really going to not use, we're not going to use, use the off-body alignment pins exactly like, um, uh, like it was intended. Although actually, what we could do is we could take a body blank, like this piece of ash, and we could drill... We could drill this off-body alignment pin 
and line up and, and pin our template to the body. And then we could use the Telecaster off-body alignment pins and line up the center line and drill those and use that and do that. You know what? That's actually a good idea. Let's start with that. Um, okay, let's jump right in. Let's go get a, uh, a piece of, of swamp ash and drill some holes and let's get started. Oh, I need to figure out what I want to do for a control cavity. Um, I think a rear route on this would be cool. And I also think I, a, a forearm contour would be cool too. So that'd be neat. Let's do that. So I got my drawing and now I have a piece of swamp ash from my friends Dan and Calvin at Tonewood Experts. Again, link in the description below. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to redraw my picture onto my wood and then I'm going to turn it into a guitar. So the first thing that I would do is I would get my center line on the um, on the board here. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this one because it's a three piece. And, uh, you know, we're going to paint it anyway, so I don't really care. Okay. But I want the, I want the, everything to look right. Okay. So I can tell right now that that, there we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then it moved. Okay. I'm going to get my center line on here. Okay. And I know that I want to use some things from this template, okay? But I also need to know that I need to have as much neck pocket as I have on my drawing. So let's get something to measure with. This protractor has a... I know that my neck pocket needs to be three inches, which is exactly what it is on a Telecaster. So if we had, let's say, three and a half inches, That'd probably be good. Okay, and we're going to check all this stuff too, guys. So let's say three and a half inches is right here. Okay, that is where the neck pocket is going to end. And you can do this however you want. So now let's take our, our telly neck or our telly body template and line it up here. And that looks pretty good, although we could smoosh it this way. A little bit and be okay too, which I kind of think I wanted. Up, oh, no, I need to. I need to make sure I'm clear of this kind of booger down here. So let's make sure we're clear of the booger, and we'll just sort of go for it. Okay. So we know. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with our original line, and there's just going to be some bugs in it. That's okay. We're all right. So we'll draw our body on here, just to give us an idea. <clears throat> but we're not going to cut the body out first. We're actually going to do <clears throat> all of these pickups and neck pockets first. So what I want to do, I want to line this up. We're going to replicate everything from the drawing. Remember, we want to use the telly neck. I'm going to use the center line here that Steve has so graciously given us. Okay? So we want it to look like that. That'll look pretty cool. I still don't know what we're going to do with that. Maybe we'll put some wood filler in there or something. <clears throat> or maybe it will get, you know, taken away. This body might be too thick. Okay. So uh, we're going to use Steve's off-body alignment pins. We're going to use this one and this one. So we're going to line this up. And we need to drill through these steel drill bushings so that we can put these quarter-inch pins into the, into, the, the, um, into the template or templates. Okay? Templates. Templates. Um, so remember when I said you wouldn't have to use double stick tape? We're actually going to use a little bit of double stick tape just to get the, uh, the holes drilled on properly. Drilled on, drilled in properly. Okay. So we'll use some more Ryan's double stick tape here. And remember, this tape is just to hold the template in place until we drill the holes. And this is, if I'm confusing you guys or going too fast here, I don't think I am, but if I am, this is going to make way more sense here in just a second, okay? 
once we get this, once we get these holes drilled, then everything else is going to be a cakewalk. Come on now. All right, we got to we got to make sure we're in the center line though. And actually, you know what? You don't need to make sure you're in the center line because what you're going to do is you're going to establish an all new center line by putting this template on. Okay, but let's let's strive to do it as good as we can. Okay, let's go over to the drill press and we'll drill this off-body alignment hole and this off-body alignment pin hole, okay? All right, let's do that now. Okay, I've got a quarter inch drill bit chucked up into my drill press. I've got my template is stuck onto my body blank and I'm going to drill all the way through the body blank into this piece of MDF. The hole has to go all the way through. Well, for what I'm doing, the hole has to go all the way through. I should move the camera so you guys can see it. These steel bushings are really cool because they're harder than, than the acrylic, so you don't have to worry about getting your, your template all dorked up. The steel bushings are, are in place. Okay, see, so we went all the way through. Now we're going to come over to this one and go all the way through. All right, now we can pull the template from the piece. And we have our off-body alignment pins. The holes are drilled for the off-body alignment pins. And we can check this out, y'all. We can put the pins in there, and we can put whatever template we want, as long as we do it the right way, we can put whatever template we want on here and route whatever we want or drill whatever we want, and then we can switch to another template and drill or route whatever we want and switch to yet another template, and you guessed it, do exactly the same thing. So um, I like to drill the holes all the way through because um, sometimes I use my pin router and sometimes I use a hand router or sometimes I'm going from the top or sometimes I'm going from the back. The cool thing about this is um, you can use the pins from the top or you can use the pins from the back just as easily. See what I'm saying here? Okay, so you don't have to double stick tape stuff on there. You can if you want, but you don't have to. And you can see already, you can start to see the versatility of this universal system, okay? So uh, I'm kind of thinking it's time to go ahead and start doing some routing. So I'm going to use these three Filtertron pickup locations as well as this Strat Bridge location. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna do that on the pin router. But you know what, while we're here, why don't we put the, um, why don't we mark the holes for the, um, the, uh, the hip shot trim, this one and this one, and uh, we, can, uh, we can have those later on. We can, we can drill those later. We could even put a punch in there and, uh, and put a punch in there and to do it now. We can drill them, well, right now if we really wanted to. But um, let's go over to the pin router, which as you guys will know, <coughs> We route from the back. So we are going to use this template from the back and we're going to route this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, okay? So let's go over to the pin router and do a little routing. Okay guys, our template setup is ready and it's on the pin router. It's we're using our off-body alignment pins. The first thing we're gonna do is our neck pocket. Now. If you don't have a pin router, you can do the exact same thing I'm about to do with a hand router, only the template will be on the other side, right? Okay, we're gonna go to just a little deeper than um, 5 eighths of an inch, which is 0.625. We're gonna go like 650 in that neighborhood because I just like mine to be a little deeper. You can do yours however you want.
So my neck pocket looks great. However, the astute viewer will notice that I said I wanted to use a Tele neck pocket and I ended up using a Strat neck pocket. Um, because Steve's setup is the way it is, we might be able to actually put the other template on here and square this up. But you know, I figure it's already done. Why don't we just use a Strat neck? It's not that big of a deal. So um, we will be using, however, all of the other stuff that's on here. So you won't get an idea on this particular one how, um, how versatile the system is and how switch-o, change-o it is. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do that on the next one. So there's one of the Filtertron pickups. And uh, you know, I felt so bad that I got the, uh, the other thing dorked up. I think I'm gonna put a different pickup in the bridge position. Maybe we'll put a humbucker because that way I can show you guys how the, uh, how the setup works. Remember what I said about working your plan and planning your work and working your plan? Sometimes it doesn't even work out. So anyway, um, so what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> We've got this neck pocket, this pickup. We're gonna put this bridge, the, the strap hardtail bridge, and we're gonna come back and we'll put a humbucker in the uh, bridge pickup position. That way we use at least two templates. This one we're gonna go down about an inch and a half. Oh, by the way, this pickup here, I like to go at least five eighths for a, um, for a filter trunk. Okay, so our body blank has a neck pocket. It has a pickup in the neck position, in this case, a Filtertron, and it's got the top part of the, uh, the Strat trim. And remember, we have our two off-body alignment pins and holes drilled into the body, and we can pull these out and put them back in, and we can switch templates back and forth with impunity. And in fact, that is what we are going to do now. <laughs> We need to use the back cavity for the trim. We need to put it on here. And in this case, we're using the pin router, so we have to go from the opposite side. Okay, but look at that, guys. It fits right on there, and it's perfect every time. So we are actually going to be using multiple templates. I kind of spaced that out. <laughs> and uh, so I still don't know what I, what I want to put in the, um, in the bridge position. I might put my template back on here and put that other filter tron, or I might stick with the humbucker. Or I might just leave it like this. I don't know. All right, gang. So let's let's route the um, uh, this rear portion of the um, um, of the trim. The this guy right here has to be five eighths, and then we have to poke through the back and 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 hog out some some material under this too. You'll see here in a minute. You guys know what a strap looks like. All right, y'all see down here, what we want to do is make this shelf go all the way down to almost the top. We want to have just the tiniest little bit of this shelf um, from, from the top. So maybe like an eighth of an inch of top left poking through. Um, so I'm just going to route this guy down. I'm just going to chase it down with my, uh, my bit here and it's going to be easy.
All right, so as you guys can see, I've got that little shelf there that I want. Hell, I could put a neck in this and make this a guitar, like, almost immediately. I do want to put the, uh, the bridge, loca bridge pin locations in. Let's go ahead and do that now. So remember, I got my off-body alignment pins. I can put this template on as many times as I need to, and it'll be perfect every time. I'm just going to take a punch and uh, put it in where the, uh, these two, these two uh, holes for the hip shot bridge go. And it should be exactly right. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, you could just uh, bolt the neck onto this and it might not be particularly comfortable, but you could turn this into a fully operational guitar now. Um, so <laughs> I still don't, like I said, I'm not sure what I want to do with the bridge pickup yet. Um, I'm thinking I'll put a humbucker in here, but I kind of want to let, let Chris decide, see what he thinks, and, uh, and we'll go from there. And we're going to finish this one later in the video. But let's talk about a couple other things that um, might be of interest to some of y'all. What if you get a little antsy and you already cut your body out and you're like, uh-oh, how do I work with Steve's templates now? Um, well, as you can imagine, you can still put Steve's templates onto a guitar that's cut out. You just may or may not be able to use the off-body alignment pins. Um, don't sweat it. Because unbelievably and remarkably, Steve's templates are available in any combination you can imagine. So if you say, you know what, I need to put this template on here one time with double stick tape and make sure it's right, and I don't want to be switch-o, change-o-ing, um, that way my neck pocket lines up with all my pickups and my bridge perfectly, you just plop one template on there and it's done, you can do that. You can go onto the Maximum Guitars website, you can pick whatever neck pocket you want, whatever pickups you want, and whatever bridge you want, and you can have one template that does it all. You don't have to mix and match. I don't know how he does it, guys, but he does. And um, it's the same, the same price, no matter if you want you know, all three humbuckers or if you want three completely different pickups. You can pick whatever you want and get exactly what you want. Remember, if you guys sign up for the Great American Guitar Building Contest, Steve will give you $100 worth of credit towards templates. So you could basically just get the template set that you want and build the guitar you want for the Great American Guitar Building Contest. And it's kind of like getting them free because the entry fee is 100 bucks. And remember, if you win, you win all that money. So if 10 guys enter, that's 1,000 bucks. You win 1,000 bucks if you win. Okay, so um, yeah, I think, I think the Great American Guitar Building Contest is going to be really cool, and this makes it really, really cool. Um, so uh, we, can talk about, we can talk about this on an existing body, but I think you guys get the idea, right? I mean, it would be as simple as, if you, if you already have your body cut out, it would be as simple as just making sure you have a center line, figuring out how long you wanted your neck pocket, let's say it's that, just arbitrarily, and let's say you wanted to put a Telecaster neck pocket with three humbuckers and a, um, and a hip shot stop tail. Well, you can just order all that stuff from Steve exactly like that. And you can put a Tele neck pocket. You can do all this with a hand router too. You don't have to have a pin router. You can put, you know, whatever, whatever pickups you want and whatever bridge you want. And yeah, you can make you can make the guitar of your dreams. So, boom, there you go. Um, if you wanted to, um, you know, you, and, and man, like I said, guys, you could, I want, a, I want a P90 here and I want something else here. And Okay, Steve will do it for you. And you can, uh, you know, you can just put it on one time and set it and forget it. The critical thing is that the neck pocket is lined up with the bridge. That's the hardest thing to do when you're like putting a neck pocket on and then eh, get it finagled right and then try to put a bridge thing and eh, get it. You, get, you can get like center line deviation and the thickness of a center line could be this thick or it could be this thick and you get like pencil width off here, pencil width off here. You start to add some of those things together and you get um, uh, uh, stacking tolerances like that. You could, be, you could be pretty far off. You don't have to worry about that with the Steve's um, um, universal fit all template set. Okay. So even if you guys cut your bodies out already, don't sweat it. You can have Steve set you up with whatever template for neck pickup and bridge you want, and it'll be perfect every time.
So this particular project's kind of gone crazy already. Um, it's been several days actually since I did the last bit of filming. I talked with Chris, he decided let's go ahead and put the other, um, the bridge, the bridge um, uh, filtertron in here and, um, and uh, let's just go with that because we think it looks cool. Plus, since we had to move a template from the top to the back and back again, and then put this one back on again, it kind of shows you guys just how versatile the, um, the off-body alignment pin system that, uh, that Maximum Guitars uses is. So now, like I said, we, we could just plug this in, well, we could plug it in. We could put a neck on it, we could put it together, and we could play it. Or we could turn the shape into something that is a little more guitar-like. All right, so let's just, let's just recap a little bit here. Um, our off-body alignment pins for the, um, for the fit-all templates, as you guys know, we can use whatever fit-all templates we want, and they, you know, they, they can go on the guitar and off the guitar. And the cool part about that is everything that's critical is now perfectly aligned, so the, the outline of the guitar can look however we want. Um, there was a question that I had earlier, and that was, do Steve's um, like Telecaster templates line up with anything on the um, uh, on the, the fit all templates? And they don't quite line up. So see, like they they come really close, but they're maybe a little bit off. But you know what? That doesn't mean that we can't still make something cool and even make it Telecaster shape. So what if we just put this guy on here and lined up the neck pocket as good as we could? We know that this is definitely in the center. Um, we could draw a Tele shape, and we could even we could even drill a hole here and use Steve's off-body alignment system and just make a Telecaster shape guitar, even though it wouldn't exactly be right. Um, you know, it wouldn't be wouldn't be exactly right. Now that the downside to using this for a Tele is there, there's, there's, there's this kind of gap in the wood here, which happens because wood is a, um, is a natural material. So I'm thinking, what if we made this lower horn something different? And I have an idea. I always thought it would be neat to put a, a BC Rich style horn on a, on a Telecaster. So let's just kind of eyeball this here. Get the center line pretty close. And let's draw it out and see what it looks like. Because I think that could be cool. Actually, I think that's really cool. So we could keep this line here, and this would just sort of, just sort of, it almost blends in perfectly already. So we could kind of, kind of design from within this, this contour here. We'll keep this little, little point from the BC Rich Eagle, and we'll, we'll get rid of all the Telecaster part of the horn here so we'll miss all of this stuff and we'll have a you know a guitar that I think is pretty cool and uh, yeah so it'll be kind of a BC Rich Eagle with uh, with two filter trons and a Strat heel and a Strat trim yeah, all right that's pretty cool um, made out of swamp ash so um, I wonder if there's something we could do here like yeah I don't like that some sometimes Sometimes you see something that, you know, it's got like kind of a, kind of it comes out and does it. But boy, that looks, that looks awfully, awfully uh, mid-60s, and that's not what I'm going for here. So um, we won't need these off-body alignment pins any longer. So let's draw those. We don't, we don't need to put them on here. We can just sort of. Sort of make this go. So what I'm going to do now, gang, is I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and I'm going to cut out my line, and then I'm going to go to my um, my spindle sander, and I'm going to sand to the line, and we're going to have a perfectly cool, awesome guitar. I should probably figure out something to do with the neck pocket. Um, I don't know. We might just sort of design from within on that. Okay, let's go to the bandsaw. So I always tell you guys to get as close to the line as possible, and uh, this is no exception, because we're going to be sanding everything away that we're not cutting. So the closer we get, the better.
All right, gang, now we've got our body cut out. We're gonna go over to the spindle sander and we're going to smooth up everything and we're gonna be good to go. Check it out. All right, so I think that looks pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely not, you know, your classic traditional telly. It's got this kind of extra thing down here and it's got two <laughs> Filtertrons and it's got a Strat trim, but um, you could quite easily bolt a neck onto this and, you know, have a pretty neat guitar that nobody else has. Now I know what you're thinking. I don't want to just buy a neck and bolt it onto my guitar. I want to actually build the neck or shape it or do part of it. Chris and I have got you covered. Um, you know, for the last several years, we've been offering Build the Classic Tele and Build the Classic Strat classes, and now we're happy to bring to you guys the same neck blanks that we use for those classes. Um, and you can, you know, you can, uh, this would be a great time to get one of these dudes and try it out. So what they are is they are maple backs and Cataloche fretboards from our good buddies Dan and Calvin at Tonewood Experts. As of right now, there are no plans to change or do anything custom. So there's no zero coat fretboard and blood wood necks. They're, they're maple necks with brown rosewood fretboards. That's it for right now. You can get them with Strat or Tele heel and the truss rods are already in. You can get the, uh, the holes for a six in line headstock are already on there. I guess if you wanted us to omit those, we could, but um, they're already fret or slotted for 25 and uh, a half fret slots. Um, in the case of the necks that we use for classes, they are not radius, but the ones that you can buy are radius. These are available in any radius you want, as long as it's 10 inch. So, um, but you'll see, you can, uh, you can put whatever inlay you want in there. You can press whatever frets in there. You need to put side dots. You can shape your headstock with whatever you want it to be. And more importantly, you get to profile the back of the neck so that it fits the body this is, this is a tele heel, so it's not gonna line up exactly right, but you see what I mean. You can actually match that to the contours of the, of the body, and that would be really cool. Actually, that would work. So, anyway, well, gang, um, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> if you're interested in these necks, uh, they're not available on the website just yet. These are kind of a brand new thing. We're thinking these are gonna be introductory priced at $99 and uh, you can have something very cool. So um, again, this is not quite a kit, but it's not too far away for all those people who've been asking me for kit stuff. So um, yeah, let me know guys what you think of the, um, the templates from, uh, the fit all templates from Steve at Maximum Guitars and Chris and I's new um, uh, offering into the paddle headstock world. Um, remember it's available in Tele or Strat Heel and you get to do pretty much everything, which I think is kind of cool. Oh, the scoop out part is done too. Um, so yeah, gang, uh, I, I hope that you uh, this kind of inspired you to get jumping and uh, um, get your entry into the great American guitar building contest or any of the other guitar building contests that are out there. Um, it's easy to do and it's fun. It doesn't require a whole lot of tools, uh, especially if you buy one of our necks. You can do, you can finish that out with hand tools. Um, the bodies, uh, like I said, if you buy a body blank from Dan and Calvin at Tonewood Experts, it's basically ready to go. You can buy some of Steve's fit all templates, pop them on here and start routing and you can have a guitar like this in no time. 
Um, remember, I also want to thank Steve from Maximum Guitars who is offering every single person who enters the Great American Guitar Building Contest. That's on the Texas Toast website, link in the description below. He's offering you guys $100 worth of free templates. And remember, you can get any, any setup that you want. Any, any, you can get four or five of them and mix and match, or you can get one that just does exactly what you want. Um, I don't know how he does it, but he does it. So, guys, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. We've got crazy stuff happening like this all the time. Um, if you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Or you might want to sign up for our uh, Utreon page. It's the YouTube membership. Um, all of our video ideas for 2022 are coming from both our YouTube membership and our Patreon membership. Uh, members. Uh, you guys send me ideas and let me know that you're a member of either Patreon or YouTube member, pay Utreon, and, uh, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll try to do, we'll try to get your, um, um, we will try to get your ideas into video form in 2022. Um, so, uh, but if you can't do any of that stuff, guys, we totally get it. Just like the video, share the video as many places as you can possibly imagine and help us grow the channel that way. Um, remember, I have an Amazon store now too, guys, so if you've got any, any need for parts and things like that, check it out. Buy stuff from our Amazon page. We get a little taste. All right, guys, um, I think this should wrap it up. We did a lot of neat stuff in not very much time, although I did it over the course of a couple, three days. Um, so I hope to see you guys at uh, one of these uh, cool guitar building contests coming up shortly. And uh, this is Matt from Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, start your own YouTube channel. That's what I did. We'll see you all next time. Don't play my guitar, the only way